Big breakfasts. Sports all in. Get the Toyota forklift advantage. Visit toyotamaterialhandling.com.au. Well, never has there been a more polarising time in the Broncos' history as a club. They sit at one game and six losses after seven weeks, and tonight they take on the Gold Coast Titans in the N1 derby. Here at Suncorp. At Suncorp Stadium. We'll be calling that game 7.55 kickoff. You'll hear it on Triple M. But... All the talk has been for too long about what is happening off the field and who this great club is going to get. For so long, and I mean that for so long, Brisbane used to generate their own players. We're they a have, culture of yeah, winners. There yeah. were standards. We that, don't seem to have that. Yeah, well, they had this elite player development um, academy where they nurtured players from 13 years of age all the way up to 18. That's still been the case forever in a day. They've still got that. But the problem at this club has been keeping the players from an 18-year-old perspective to now. If you look at some of the names that we've lost over the last five years, mm. it is harrowing. And there's potential to lose some more. Katoni Staggs has given a verbal commitment that he'll stay, but he hasn't signed Sign. that piece of paper. Yeah. What's he waiting for? Well, he wants to see who's going to be the halfback. He wants to see what the plan is. He wants to see what the future is. Xavier Coates. Tom Dearden's best mate. He lived with Andrew McCulloch and Tom Dearden since he's moved from the coast. Tom Dearden's going to the North Queensland Cowboys. They shuffled Andrew McCulloch off to the St George. What do you think is going to happen to Xavier Coates? Mm. Watch this space. My understanding is the closer every day he is to going to the Melbourne Storm next year. Because what's keeping them there, Dobbo? There's nothing keeping them there, is there? Well, Kevin Walters is now trying to keep them there, and it's a cultural thing that he actually knows what he has to do. But to get to that point, there's going to be some bloodshed. This is a call out to the fans. I understand how frustrated you are. My beautiful Amity's father, Vern, has been a Broncos member since its inception. He raises a Mm. Broncos flag every single day on his flagpole. Loves them. He's a season ticket holder. Even he's completely disillusioned. I was speaking to a bloke yesterday whose father has been a member and doesn't know what is the outcome. Dave Donahue starts on Saturday, the new CEO. Kevin Walters is coaching there. They need to give Kevin Walters a commitment for more than two years and say, you're here for four or five years, we're going to back you. They need to get him behind you, and we all need to believe. It's hard at the moment, I know that, but things are changing. They could even get Corey Parker back as an assistant coach. They want more legends there. They need to get people around Kevin and Dave Donaghy who are going to make the place a better place. You're going to lose players every single time. There are players that are going to leave the club because money and it's a business, and rightly so, they've got a small window and they need the future. But people used to stay for less to win premierships at Brisbane. Your husband is a prime husband. example. Yeah. That is where Brisbane need to get back to. And tonight is a big shot in the arm. If they can deliver tonight against the Titans, I'm tipping them. I know you didn't tip them. I saw in the paper. I tipped them last week. Yeah, I gave yeah, them an opportunity yeah. and they well, let me down. Tonight's the night where they step up and, fingers crossed, Everybody's talking about on Tuesday how good they went. All eyes will be on the Gambin, Gamble, Milford combo. Yeah, Dobbo, come on, Tyson Gamble. That, yeah, come it's on, a gamble. Come on, it's gamble. It's a gamble. Dobbo's thought on sport. Thanks to Toyota Material Handling. Get the Toyota forklift advantage. Visit toyotamaterialhandling.com.au.